Hello and welcome to Coders Scholar. My name is Sunny Sulanki, and in today's video, I will explain how to create gate chats using Python Data Visualization Library Matplotlib. We'll be creating gate chats in Jupyter Notebook. So, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open, and at the beginning of the notebook, I have included a sample image showing a sample gate chat that we will try to mimic. So we'll try to create a gate chart that looks something like this. Now gate charts are commonly used to display some kind of matrix and how we are doing on that matrix with the current value. So okay, so that was a small intro. Let's get started with the coding part. So first of all, I have imported a Python library matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. Now in the next line, I have saved colors. So these are the seven colors which are over here of these seven bars, seven uh, round bars and values are this tick 180, 60, 40, 20 and so on. And X axis values are values that we will use. So I will explain uh, when we use it. So I have executed it. Now we'll be using a pyplot ABI of matplotlib to create chart. So let me import pyplot as plt. The first thing that we will do is we will create a figure object. And we will set figure size of 18 by 18. So figure looks a little big. Now in order to create a gate chart, we will create access object and uh, I will create access object by calling figure.add subplot method. And over here I need to provide projection as polar so we can't use normal projection we need to use polar projection so we can have a curved bars so let me execute this cell and show you how it looks so as you can see on my screen now we have a curved uh, projection so okay so we have polar projection ready so in order to add bars over here what we need to do is we need to call a method name bar now for x axis i will provide these values which are 0, 0 0.4, 0 0.88 and so on. So all values are at the distance of 0.44 from one another. And there are, uh, these are six values. So we have total of seven uh, bars over here. Green, light green, another light green, yellow and so on. So there are seven bars. So that's why we have six values over here. Each, each bar will be starting from uh, the end of uh, last bar. So that's x values now for width i will set to 0 0.5 and height i will set to 0 0.5 and bottom i will set to 2 so let me uh, show you what i meant by setting this value so i have executed this cell and as you can see the bar has started from below 0 degree and as you can see the bottom is starting at 2 and it's going till 2.5 so that is uh, height from 2 to 2.5 which is 0 0.5 height bottom is at 2 so as you can see and width is 0 0.5 which is width of one bar so let me set color to show you how width looks so i will set color parameter to colors okay and now as you can see we have our six bars ready you can see each are set with different colors and the width is this part over here from here to here this one the curved width of this bar all right so we have our uh, initial uh, gate chart ready now as you can see the initial bars are aligned in the center so axis is going over here and bar is aligned around it so i need to set parameter name align to edge so as you can see now bars are starting at the end of the edge or I, we can say at the start of the edge okay so now let's add one more parameter which is line width set it to three so we have a little bit of uh, space between the bar and i will set edge color equal to white so i have white color edge so as you can see now we have little width between 
a little space between various bars okay so we have our initial uh, gate chart ready now let's go ahead and add various ticks over here so this ticks 180 60 40 20 and so on so for that i will use for loop i will say location and value in zip of so this x axis values will be used for location and actual values are over here takes so we are zipping these two values now over here as you can see for x axis values we have 0 0 0.4 3 4 5 6 7 values whereas 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 values are values over there because it starts from here our x axis values and there are goes till here only so we need to provide value for this one as well so as of now uh, the last one is 2.64 plus 2.44 i will set it to 2.08 let's say or 2.18 let's say and then i say plt dot annotate and string will be values and x y will be location and 2.5 because we want it out of this uh, bars so we'll set it to 2.5 and let me execute and show you how it looks so as you can see we have our labels ready but the values for negative 20 and 0 negative 14 and minus 40 are going little inside of the bar so let me just change this first 18214 so this minus 40 moves a little bit up and then i will set horizontal alignment to right if well is less than or equal to 10 20 so we want 20 to be moved a little bit on right side left side actually else it will be left so as you can see now the values are properly uh, coming up at the end of the each bar okay so we have our ticks ready now i will do one more thing so before i turn off this axis so currently you can see the axis which is this circles and lines so i will disable them at the end but before doing that let me add uh, this arrow and this circle so we can add arrow and circle using plt.no it method now as you can see over here the value starts from 100 80 60 40 and so on so the value that we will select is 50 which is some exactly between this 40 and 60 okay so in order to do that i will over here say value is 50 and then x y of text is 0 0 because i want text in the center and x y coordinate is where the bar will end so i want a bar to end over here which is in center of this one 50 between 40 and 50 over here so as we can see the height will be 2 so y axis value will be 2 and for x axis value uh, our bar starts from here so 0 till over is till over here is 0 0.44 then till over here is 0 0.88 and over here it's 1.32 as you can see 0 0 0.44 0 0.88 and 1.3 so we need value which is between 0 0.88 and 1.32 which will point over here so that is 0 0.88 plus 0 0.22 which is around 1.1 okay so so that's our arrow so let me modify arrow style a little bit i will say arrow props parameter dict arrow style i will set to wedge okay color i will set to black okay let me add b box around our 
x so that i will set to round i set face color to black of the arrow and the circle say line width to 2.0 we will say font size of our text to 45 and color to be white so let me execute this cell okay bounding box is equal to dict and as you can see we have our uh, bounding box ready but it's not properly round so i think the name is circle okay and let me say tail the score width equal to 0 0.4 and i need ring of a is equal to 0 Oh, sorry, it's uh, I set it in the wrong dictionary by mistake. So, think of a will go over here. A. So, we need to move our uh, circle into center a bit. Okay, 0, 0, 1.1. Let me set this one to center and see whether okay so now as you can see the circle is in center yeah now this one looks better so as you can see we have our initial uh, gate chart ready with all the bars plotted and uh, over here we have arrow pointing to value 50 so let me switch axis off and see how the chart looks and i will also add a title to chart say performance gate chart location will be center padding will be 20 font size will be around 35 on weight should be bold okay so let me execute this cell okay so we here we have our uh, partial gate chart ready so we have various bars we have ticks over there we have value pointing with arrow now we just need to add this labels which are high performing sustainable maturing developing and so on so that we can do using uh, plt dot annotate method so as of now i have kept the code for it below which i will copy and paste it over here the reason behind uh, i did not try this code is as you can see the values over here needs to be tried to determine which values to use and we need to spe specify rotation as well to rotate the values of the text color is set to white and font weight is bold so this values uh, you need to try various x y axis values to determine which one is setting properly your labels so let me execute this cell and as you can see here we have our gate chart ready so over here in our case uh, i have a gate chart with seven bars like high performance sustainable maturing developing foundational volatile and unsustainable and you can have any number of bars instead of seven you can have five bars or four bars or six bars and so on so you need to set this x axis values accordingly so you will have to try this different value so 0 0 0.44 0 0.8 these values are for when you have seven bars like this in current scenario and you will have to set this width value accordingly based on your scenario based on the number of bars that you have so yeah that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, we have explained how you can create a gate chart using python data visualization library matplotlib if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time